Hi, I'm Bethany. Welcome. In this video, we are going to be making these cute, teeny tiny booties for baby. They are perfect for boys and girls. And they are sized for teeny tiny brand new feet. So they work up pretty quick. Um, be sure to check the description. I have links to the yarn and the hook that I use to make them. Um, I also have links to my social media. I'd love to have you follow along. So let's get started. Okay, so we are going to jump right in. We're going to start these newborn booties by working a chain 9. Then you're going to work 3 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Single crochet 3 more. Then half double crochet in the next stitch and then work a double crochet in the next two chains. Okay and then once you get here you're going to have one chain left so you're going to work seven in that last chain. Seven double crochet in that last chain. There's our seven. And now you're going to work back across this chain. So work a double crochet in the next chain. Double crochet in the one after that. So two double crochet. Work a half double crochet in the next chain and then work three single crochet stitches. and then join with that first stitch. Okay, so chain one, and then work a two half double crochet in that same stitch, a half double crochet increase, and then work two half double crochets in the next two stitches. So we're increasing for three total stitches. And then work seven half double crochets up the side. Now we're at the toe. So you're going to work two half double crochet in the next five stitches. So work five increases with the half double crochet. Okay, so there's our five increases and then you're going to finish the round by working seven half double crochet stitches. And then join with a slip stitch. So that completes the tiny little soul. Isn't that tiny? I designed these when my baby girl was just barely born and this was the exact size of her foot. Isn't it so teeny? Okay so now we're gonna work the sides of the shoe. We're gonna start building it up. So for the next two rounds you're gonna work a single crochet in each stitch. So chain one, work a single crochet all the way around and then join with a slip stitch. Okay, so we completed round four and you can kind of see it's curving up. Make sure that if it's curving in that you turn it so that the right side of your stitches are facing out, the pretty side of your stitches are facing out. Okay, so moving on to round five, we're going to chain one, single crochet 13 around the toe on the side, so 13 total. Okay, and then once, once you work the 13, you're going to work 
double crochet two together three times. So it's a double crochet increase and work a double crochet increase six times around the toe. Okay, there's our six and then you're going to work five single crochet stitches. And then join with a slip stitch. See it's kind of turning into a little teeny shoe. Okay, so working, moving on to round six, you're going to chain one and then single crochet 13 again. Okay, and then this time you're going to half double crochet three, or sorry, double crochet two together. Work a double crochet decrease three times. And then finish the row by single cro working five single crochets. Okay, and then round seven, you're going to chain one single crochet 13 again and then you're going to work a single crochet two together twice so there's my first one there's my second one and then single crochet four And then join with the slip stitch. Okay, for round eight, you're going to single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, and then join with a slip stitch. That's row eight. And then for nine, you're going to do the same thing, chain one and then single crochet in each stitch around. And then join with a slip stitch. Then moving, moving on to round 11, you're going to, you're going to single crochet 11. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking at my pattern incorrectly, I'm sorry you guys, this is round 10. We're going to single crochet 11 on round 10. Then work one single crochet decrease. And then finish the round by working six single crochet. And then join with the slip stitch. Okay, so for the next five rounds, so from 11 to 16, you're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around. And then for the very last round, we're going to work some decreases so that they stay on baby's foot a little better. So work a single crochet, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch, and then alternate Alternate working the decrease and the single crochet. And it's not super necessary, but it kind of, I feel like, keeps them so that they stay on baby's foot a little bit better and a little bit more snug at the top. You can kind of tuck their pants into them and then they'll stay on. But they do stay on pretty well anyway because they're pretty tall. And also, if you have a chubbier baby, I mean, baby, these will only fit your baby while, it, they're, while she or she is very, very brand new before they start to put on that chub. But um, 
I found that, I know that's tiny, it looks tiny, but these fit my little girl perfectly. So if you find that that's a little too skinny, then skip that round of single crochet decreases. And then that's the basic shoe part. And then if you're doing it for a little boy, that one you probably leave it. But if you're doing it for a little girl, you can add the little bow. So I'm going to grab a second color of yarn and we'll do a bow. Okay, so to make the bow, we're going to start with a chain 13. You're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and then double crochet two more. You're going to half double crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then slip stitch in the next stitch then single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and then double crochet in the next three stitches. Okay, and then you're going to turn, chain two, double crochet three, half double crochet in the next stitch. Not in my yarn. How does that even happen? And single crochet in the next stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, half double in the next stitch, and then work three double crochet stitches. Okay, and then you have a teeny, teeny, teeny little bow. So, cut your yarn. And then take a little tail, little piece. And then make a knot in the back like this. And then wrap it a couple times so it looks like the middle of the bow. It's very teeny. And then you can tie another knot to knot the two ends of the of the wrapped part together. You will want to weave these ends in as well. But then you get your shoe and just using, you can sew them on, but it's just, it's faster and easier just to put a dab of glue on this side and a dab of glue on that side. You don't want to glue it all the way across because you want to have a little bit of stretch to it. So just glue both sides down like that. And then your little shoe is done. This is such a fun and quick little project. And can you believe that little baby feet are that tiny?
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed making these cute little booties. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more cute um, and fun crochet projects. Okay, bye.